Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today, Y2K called and coach, they want their bags back. Hello? Today, we will be going through my Y2K coach handbag collection from the years 2003 all the way up to 2008. What? Really nice? Who's gay? But before we hop into my Y2K coach handbag collection, if you guys love coach handbags, hauls, Y2K, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new and if you guys enjoy today's content make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video and it helps with that pesky <coughs> youtube al go rhythm now i do believe i have about 22 Y2K handbags for Coach. Uh, insane. So we're just going to completely dive in. And for the first year we're going to be looking at, it's 2003. My first handbag in today's Y2K Coach collection, it goes to my Coach Soho Mini Hobo shoulder bag in this beautiful light blue. Oh my god, this is from 2003 and it's just, uh, you guys, I have such a deep love for like vintage coach. So when I first seen this, I was like, oh my god, like I've never seen like a light blue, like Y2K uh, vintage Soho, like, you know what I mean? So I just got it and every bag today is thrifted. So just keep that in mind. I absolutely love this bag. The light blue coloring. I also love how like the vinylings even light blue. Like that's a really nice touch. And the glove tan leather just is held up very excellently. Like ma'am, very beautiful. Now that was it for 2003. Next up is 2004. Now I do have a few 2004 bags, but my first 2004 bag, it goes to this beautifully, beautifully preserved mini Soho shoulder bag. Yes, mini Soho Hobo shoulder bag. I, I love these so much. This one is in full suede with like beautiful, beautiful brown gloved hand, thick, thick leather. Like this is so beautiful. And like the suede is just so soft. I'm so glad I was able to find this at a thrift store. 2004 and I remember at one point this was like the oldest coach bag I had and I was like oh, I love this but now that it's like the time of year I should probably start using this like or at least a couple times I don't want to like overuse it the suede has been so beautifully preserved and like the solid brass hardware it is just chef's oh no girl like this is just the bee's knees like I love this speaking of which my next one goes to the other version of the Soho Mini Hobo shoulder bag. I know, I got a lot of those. I got a lot of them. Don't hate. <laughs> I love, I just love them. They're just so beautiful. And this one isn't like a really beautiful, um, what leather is this again? I can't remember the leather. Oh my god. I feel like it's glove tanned or, um, servo maybe no that doesn't sound right anyways it is just really beautiful as well so like having all three here together is just a lot of fun i got all three here got the light brown got the suede got the light blue it they're just such a cute handbags i'm like girl 2003 2004 2004 just a stunning stunning silhouette i love these bags they're just so pretty do you know these gays do you know these gays now we're gonna switch it up from the sohos <laughs> for once and we're gonna be looking at my 2004 mini outlet bag in like really just stunning stunning leather it smells delicious definitely not like the most well upkept bag but like because the leather's so thick durable soft supple like just 
so high end and luxurious. It's gonna, it's still very, very like nice looking. Like for a bag that's almost 20 years old, they, they all look really good. You know what I mean? So I'm very lucky to have found such great, excellent pieces, all in such great, excellent condition. I do, I'm like 99.99% sure, yeah, this one says it's made in China and Outlet. I, I for sure thought when I first seen this, this was retail. Like, that's how good Outlet used to be back in the day, and it's just like, oh. Ah, oh, love this. Now we move on to the year 2005. First up for 2005, we got my little uh, red slash brown jacarded uh, messenger bag. I don't believe I've actually used this one yet. It's just like not necessarily a bag that I use, but like it's such a unique piece. You don't really see this kind of canvas like ever. Like I don't, I rarely see this canvas. Like I don't think I've actually ever seen it other than on this. And just for that reason, I feel like it's worth keeping in my collection. I did have this in a bag selling video, but like I decided against it. Y'all convinced me, y'all convinced me. And a part of me was like, it's such a small bag. Like you could literally tuck this anywhere and it's not gonna be in the way. So I decided to keep it and I'm glad because 2005 uh, vintage, I collect, hello, and it's great for the video. <laughs> Next goes to a more recent thrift find. I believe I did this in my last coach thrift haul and this one is a beautiful, beautiful apple red color or like just a really nice dark red. The canvas, beautiful. I love how it's got like this little like tassel. This tassel, I don't really see tassels that much, at least not like this. So when I seen this, I had to grab it. And it's 2005, beautiful, beautiful retail piece here. I definitely want to start using this a bit more. It's got like that iconic silhouette to it. Um, very basic bag, but like you could totally, uh, you could totally add something to, the, to this to completely elevate it. It's easy to elevate and it's just so timeless. It's very timeless. And I love red. Next up for 2005 goes to probably, um, debatably, one of my most all-time favorite vintage pieces that I thrifted. And it goes to my black Boston bag. I had to clean this baby up and it was worth it. I didn't even realize it was retail or anything. Like, I didn't realize what I got until I had it. And I was just like, ah, yes, thank you. And I did notice that the small C's have started coming back into style. So if you guys have been keeping up with like Coach Outlet recently, they've been updating some bags with this like small C print. I love my Boston satchel. This thing is just so stunning. It, I, funnily, funnily enough, even though it's from 2005, it for, perfectly fits like an iPhone right in the front pocket. So like, girl, a bag that was truly ahead of its time. I did my duty. Oh God, I did my duty. Teleporting to 2006. Now, first up, we're gonna be looking at one of my Soho shoulder bags again, but this time it's in like a brown canvas and it's got like a funkier design compared to like the other ones we've seen. So I do, I do notice that whenever I see this specific style, it's like always in like really bad condition. Like whoever owned them, like really loved them type of deal. And I don't necessarily, like out of all of my mini Soho hobos, this is probably my least favorite, but I grabbed it because it was in such great condition. And like, in all honesty, it has grown on me a bit. And like, it just has a very iconic lunar shape. Like it's just one of those pieces that it was in such good condition, a decent price, and I was like, okay, I, I can add that to my vintage collection. Next up, though, goes to a Soho. This isn't a Soho mini hobo. No, this is the Soho. The iconic small Soho, or mini Soho. Probably it's small. But it's in a beautiful white color with, like, the beautiful jacquard canvas. Beautifully preserved as well, especially with the white leather. Again, 2006, that era was just some of the best. I love how iconic it is. Again, I have not used this piece yet, 
either. There's a few vintage pieces that I haven't used. Like, girl, I only have one arm. <laughs> I only have one arm. I can't use everything. But, again, I do like collecting. So this is a really good piece to have for my collection. Moving on to the biggest bag so far. And that is the Soho Hobo large shoulder bag. This thing is, I basically found this like brand new for like $9 or something. Like when I, I, I remember finding it, maybe it was like $12. I can't remember, but I like gasped because girl, like look at this. It's in this beautiful brown chocolate color. Like uh, the glove tan leather completely, completely preserved. Like no scratches or anything that is like oh my god like there's something wrong with them there's nothing wrong with this absolutely nothing wrong with it and it again it's very unique from the other sohos that i had that it was a no-brainer to add it especially with the price right but very beautiful piece and a piece i need to use a piece i need to use because it's just so stunning it's so beautiful Get your fucking ass up and work. Next up for 2006, it goes to a outlet piece that is pretty unique for its time. I'm not going to lie to you. I was kind of shocked because this is from 2006 and most bags from that time era do not have like these unique designs like this. So when I seen this for like a really cheap price, um, I did have to clean it up quite a bit as you can tell. Like, whoever wore it did wear it very well. But the cowhide that was used is so luxurious that it's, like, it's, it's, even though it was soiled a little, it's, like, held up excellently. And, like, you can't say, like, most bags would do that nowadays. And it's just so pretty. I definitely could use this for the holiday season, too, because it does have, like, all, like, the metallic pretty pieces. It's got, like, the purples, the bronzes, the silvers, the golds. Definitely a holiday piece that I could use. Probably should, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. And next up, we got a canvas tote bag from 2006. I'm not exactly sure the, um, the name of this bag, but it's really nice. What I love about it is the canvas. I'm not too much into like this type of like I love this canvas but it's not something that I necessarily gravitate towards like buying you know what I mean but this was really really well priced and the canvas is just so stunning like this canvas is so sturdy it is so like thick sturdy and uh, well it, it's very high quality like shockingly like I'm just like wow I really wish bags were made like this still because girl and like even with like the bronze hardware it's just held up so excellently I <laughs> I honestly just I can't get enough of these like these are all just such beautiful pieces y'all and the last bag for 2006 it goes to another full suede bag this one is the full suede tote bag with beading on it haven't really done too much with this just yet it's gonna cost me a few dollars to like get it cleaned up properly because i don't trust myself with suede anymore i've had some like bad instances with like cleaning suede and i just find it such to be a, such a pain in the ass that i'm probably just gonna get somebody to do this for me but it's probably gonna cost like the whole bag needs to be cleaned, so it's probably going to cost me quite a bit. But definitely need to get this cleaned up sooner than later. But, you know, uh, I can be lazy sometimes. It's fine. <laughs> get your fucking ass up and work. We are making our way up the decade now. 2007. Next up, it goes to the 65th anniversary. Uh, I believe Satchel here. I can't remember the name of this one. Oh, I regret. No, I think it's... It's not the Hampton. Um, or anyway, it's, I love this. I, it's a beautiful Vachetta leather. And it is, it's, I love how just like iconic looking this strap is. Like the construction of it, the thickness. It is just unprecedented. I just, I really like this piece. I really like the 65th anniversary collection. And like, because that was such a well-loved collection, 
most bags you find thrifted for it are like disgusting. <laughs> And I did have to put some TLC into this. I had to put some manpower into this girl. And it was worth it to a T. I've used it a few times and I am just... Mm, it even smells good too. I just love the construction of the bag and everything about it is just... It's just... Mm, great piece. Next up for 2007, it goes to this stunning, like, black square canvas buffalo leather trimmed piece. I like this piece a lot. Um, it's kind of hard to find these, like, because not, not a lot of these bags, not a lot of bags like this were made. So it is a little harder to find something like this, but this one was in such good condition. I do feel like this would be a, like a great bag to use like every day. It's got like that nice um, everyday easy going style for it. Silver hardware, it's black and it's very stunning. Mm. I, I guess like my only complaint about the vintage bags is that like you can't really remove the straps. Um, it's a little harder to um, like add things to them, but like they're so beautiful so well made and so just luxurious it just doesn't matter you know what i mean like that's the good thing about vintage bags next up we have the sister to the canvas tote it's the patchwork tote i love the patchwork on this this is like i have no idea if this is like alligator or lizard or snake um i do know like this one's like faux snake embossing on here it's like a gold undertone with like a, like a camel snake skin print over top. And then this is like actual, like authentic, like, uh, I don't know, like alligator or some sort of like snake or something. But like, it's, oh girl, it is edgy. And it has like the beautiful, like, cheetah print to it. And it has all like the beautiful, it, there's just everything on this. And like, I really like it. Now you're probably thinking where's the Sohos? Because yes, 2007 still had Sohos. So next up goes to my beautiful, beautiful, like sand or like camel colored Soho Buffalo shoulder bag. This is one of my favorite vintage finds. The leather is just, I have such a hankering for Buffalo leather sometimes. And like, this is just, I love it. I I don't use it too often because I just want it to be beautifully preserved. I've used it a few times and it's great because it's just so versatile. It's very versatile and you're able to do a lot with it. It's roomy. You can put like two cell phones in like each pocket here. Like it's a really great bag and it's again just ahead of its time. Completely ahead of its time. <laughs> And for the last of the Sohos in the Y2K era, we got my iconic black leather trim with the brown siege carding canvas. And this piece, again, you're going to hear me again, all video. Oh, this is my favorite piece. This is my favorite piece. This is another one of my favorite pieces. It is just... It's something. It's something to behold. Like, it really is. It has such a laid-back, edgy vibe. Classy, but classic. And it's stunning. The leather on it, just so well-crafted. I love how it has, like, this whip-stitch braided, like, leather piece here. And the hardware on it. I, I, like the, It's got, like, this nice tag on it with the little uh, gold medal piece here. It's... A stunning bag and even when it's like full full and it's it just has such a life of its own you know what I mean now that we've moved up the ladder of the decade we're going to 2008 now sadly that's where the decade ends is firm in my collection so next up it goes to my Hampton shoulder bag and I this is Cerebo leather I fucking love this piece I touch it and I'm just like oh my god <laughs> again I this might be one of like the top five favorite vintage pieces I'm not sure 
I, if you're if you're gonna tell me if you're gonna ask me to like rank my vintage pieces I'd rather like shoot myself in the foot like I honestly would I can't I can't do it this bag is just so damn stunning the leather is just like so immaculate I I don't even like know like I've never really heard of like a cerebro leather or anything like that it reminds me of now that I think about it, it kind of reminds me of the glove tanned pebble leather that coaches used within like the last five years. This could have been like a cerebral leather could have been like a precursor to that or something. So like, honestly, uh, there's just something about this that just gets my panties all knotted up and I love this piece to bits. Next up for my 2008 handbags, it goes to my Outlet Hampton. So this was the Retail Hampton shoulder bag. This is the Outlet Hampton top handle satchel or satchel, whatever you want to call it. I call it my Coach Birkin. <laughs> my Coach, uh, my, my Birkin, but make a coach. That's what I call it. It has the, like, literal, like, it literally looks like the Birkin in, like, certain aspects. Definitely not to a T. It doesn't have that front satchel, but it kind of does the overtop thing. So it does take its own inspiration from the Birkin, I feel, and I just love it. Now for the final two pieces in my Y2K throwback coach video, we got the patchwork duffel bags from 2008 one in brown one in black and they are beautiful i love both of them quite a bit this one suede is a bit dirtier than this one so whoever uh, owned this one previously definitely took care of this one better this is more my color tone or like my color group compared to this though black is my favorite color or shade above all so it I like both of these pieces and they're both very stunning. They both got different aspects to them. This one has more suede. This one's got more leather. So take your pick. They're both stunning. Wow. That took a while to go through y'all. That took a while. It took too long. I have too many bags, but I love collecting Y2K coach bags. It's just, it's just a lot of fun. I love all of the styles and they're all great. What was your favorite and without further ado i'm gonna show y'all a sickening a sickening outfit of the day and 99 don't believe in you but all you need is just for one person to believe there can be a hundred people hundred people hundred people hundred people hundred people a hundred people a hundred people a hundred people hundred people hundred people hundred people hundred people hundred Nine thousand or nine hundred ninety nine. There can be a hundred people in the room, in the room, in the room, and ninety nine, ninety nine. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's massive Y two K throwback video. I love Coach Y two K bags, and no, Coach, you are not getting your bags back. I know you called me, but no, ma'am, you're not getting the bag. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit that like button. Share with your friends and family. Comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's outfit of the day or Y2K throwback coach video. As well, you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation. And you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad i love you all to the absolute moon and back and i'll see you all in my next video bye <laughs> i think it was good i don't, I don't know. i'm done i'm done oh no show's over show's over <laughs>